Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lab and today I'm going to be doing a Tartarus beer. This one is a collaboration with Vault City and this is Dulce de, Le de Leech Imperial Stout. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, this is 14.1%. It's fucking huge this. Uh, and this is a 440 can as well. I mean this is massive. Um, yeah this is a 14.1% Imperial Stout. Um, and I picked this up from Priest Town um, not too long ago, actually. I just don't remember how much it cost. It was like seven, eight quid. In fact, I think it was seven, you know, nothing really overly expensive. I just hope it's good. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this one. Um, Tartarus are really good. They, they make really, really strong beers, and Vault City make some fantastic beers. Um, they're just they're both really really good I don't think they've done a collab together if they have I haven't had it um, yeah I'm, I'm, I don't know I'm just I'm looking forward to this one um, since they've changed the cans Tartarus have took away their um, basically what the tail is of the the pole of the can art because each can art has something different and it means something different in some form of like horror story or ghost story or some some myth or something um so i don't know what the mackenzie poltergeist is but if you're interested i shall hopefully try and get the barcode to qr code to do that anyway um yeah so i don't know what it is i've never heard of it before but i'm probably going to look it up after this um and i mean you can probably look it up as well that's everything for the back of the can there's no guff on it um, it's just a bunch of different languages for the ingredients. Um, this is a vegetarian beer, so I'm going to assume there's lactose in this. Uh, and then just quickly, for the can art, that's what I'm going to assume is the Mackenzie Poltergeist. But if you look behind it, that archway there is meant to be... It looks like it's meant to be the Vault City logo that they've subtly threw in. And it just it looks really nice. I like this can art. I've always liked Tartarus can art because it's just good it's detailed and they put that much detail to the can art and they put so much more detail to the beer it's just it's just they're really really good anyway um it's a black can gold top and the best before on this is march 2026 so it's got a bit of time um but yeah let's crack it open see what we got smell that already all right I'm just gonna let that settle for a second so there's our beer we have such that is such a dark dark brown it's almost black but it's just a shade above black into brown um, that was a, a very tanned compact head but it's quickly dissipated there is a nice alcohol ring around the glass if I can there you go you can see it look at that Try and get that back. You can see it just there. Nice alcohol ring. I mean, it's fourteen percent, so it's going to be. I'd be surprised if it didn't have one. But I mean, that looks absolutely stunning. Um, no floaters in it yet, but I haven't emptied the can. So let's uh, get a smell. See how we get, shall we? Chocolate, caramel, toffee. Butterscotch, vanilla. It's very sweet. This very very sweet. Um, at least by smell alone. If you come into this imperial stout thinking it's going to be a dark, deep, rich, bitter one, it's not. I don't think yet. We'll find out. But I've got caramel, toffee, butterscotch, chocolate, vanilla. That smells absolutely stunning. Um, let's get a mouthful for volume card. Carb is so so light; it's nearly not there. You get an, you get this odd bubble, but besides that, it's not there. Um, body is a medium medium to full body somewhere there. It's not really full bodied, but it's not super light or anything. Um, so that's really really nice. That that's so smooth. It's velvety. 
it's creamy it's like drinking a milkshake um, and I'll get into the flavor properly uh, but it's like drinking a milkshake it's creamy um, it's smooth it's velvety it's silky just really really it's just, uh, really really super easy to drink it's just so good let's get a big old taste shall we cheers First thing you get is caramel, toffee. Moves into lactose. Nice chocolate, butterscotch, the vanilla's there. There's a hint, there's a slight bitterness to this, and I do mean slight. It's like a little hint of uh, roasted malt or coffee. I'm just gonna this back into my eye. There's something shining. Oh, it's the door. There we go. Um, yeah, so it's got this slight bitterness to it. Um, almost like a roasted malt, maybe a coffee sort of um, bitterness to it. It's not dark chocolate, I know it's not dark chocolate. It's too light to be dark chocolate, but it does have a very, very, very mild bitterness to it. Besides that, it's super sweet, it's super sugary. Well, sugary, if you will. But like I say, toffee, butterscotch, chocolate, vanilla, that's, it's so, so sweet. And I, I really, really like a sweet Imperial Stout. These are the kind of Imperial Stouts I love. Um, oh, I think there's floaters. Hold on. So you couldn't see that while I was pouring it, but as I was pouring that last bit... Wow. Oh, wow, it's changed colour. I don't know if you can see that. That was black before, borderline black. Now it's brown. And there's floaters in the bottom. What the hell has happened there? Ooh, it's slightly more bitter now. There's more of a coffee flavor to that. Only slightly more bitter. It's still super sweet. Um, still super smooth to drink, still everything that I've just said, just the bitterness has just sort of turned it up a notch. Um, that is really nice. Um, but like I was saying, you couldn't see it as I was pouring it. It was pouring in two different colours. So it had like a sort of Guinness head, that, that white creamy looking colour running down the middle of what was actually pouring, which was the brown Imperial Stout. So you had the Imperial Stout pour, and then down the middle, there's like this slight line of bright, um, creamy, coloured um, drink. I don't know what it was, but it... try and pour it how I did, where I've poured half the can in first, let it settle for a sec, and then pour the second half of the can in. You'll see what I mean. Um, but it was two different colours there. I've never seen that in a beer before, but hey ho. Anyway. I don't know what Dulce, Dulce de, Leche, de, de Leche, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, and I don't know what it is. Um, I'm going to assume it's some kind of flavour, some some sweet or sweet thing, I don't know. I should probably look this stuff up before I do a review. But um, whatever it is, I don't know whether I can taste it or not, because I don't know what it translates to, because I'm an uncultured swine. Um, Anyway, um, it's a good beer. It's very, very nice. I really like this. I think I, th I think I like this enough to move it into my top three all-time beers. Top three. It's that good. It's still behind the Polish um, Polish cake, um, Brew York Stout. That was absolutely cracking. But this is definitely top three um, easily. And if it's not, it's top two. That's how good it is. This is one of, I'm going to say this now, this is one of my all-time favourites. This is so good. Um, it's 40, oh, it's 14.1%. The booze isn't that strong. It's not overpowering. It's not in your face. You get a little tickle. The ice cream truck. Um, you get this little tickle in the back of your throat and the sort of blur in the back of your cheeks. But you don't really get too much of a burn or anything, which I think is quite impressive considering it's 14.1% and some brewers whether they do it intentionally or not, struggle to hide 
8.9%. Tartarus have hidden 14.1%, and it's just absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, I forgot that was 14.1%, but that is an all-around pretty perfect beer for what I've got. I think it's fantastic. So, I'm going to go away and enjoy this, because it is 14.1%. 14.1% um, I need to not drink this on camera because I will be absolutely over my own feet in like five minutes because and then probably you know not able to walk but pardon me um, yeah I'm gonna go away and enjoy this this is an absolute cracker of a beer um, like I say this is definitely top three if not top two of my all-time beers it's, it's just so good so out of ten Tartarus uh, Tartarus and Vault City, the Mackenzie Poltergeist, Dolce de, de Leche Imperial Stout, 14.1% 14 14 .1 out of 10. I'm giving that the full 10 out of 10. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think the full body, if it was full bodied, would probably make it harder to drink. So I think medium body is a good way to go there. That is an absolute, yeah, 10 out of 10. That's a stunner. I love this. I think this is fantastic. Tartarus, whatever you're doing with Vault City, keep doing it because that is a perfect beer um and please don't make this a limited beer because i want to buy more of these and if i can't i'm gonna be so upset anyway um so if you've had this before please let me know let me know what you think if you like it if you don't if you've not had it i'll leave a link to both tartarus and vault city down below where i think you can get this on vault city website i'm not sure if you can't double check tartarus anyway um you know, check them both. I'm sure it'll be somewhere. Like I said, I got this from Priest Town. It cost me about £7-ish. I'm not really sure. But links will be down below. Or if you're in Preston, go and pick one of these up. I don't think you can lose with this. I really don't. I know it's personal opinion. But I don't think you can lose. I think it's great. So, um, yeah. If you like the video, though, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so. Because the show must go on. Etc, etc. So on and so forth. And I'll see you later.